Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Blizzard variant of the US Cash in the Jungle Cup. And I climbed up to like, you gotta see it at the end anyway, like 2900 something rating with this team here. And there were still some things I would change and would say also that you should change for this team. If you want to run a Swampert on this team, you should go for Sludge Wave over Earthquake. But if you don't want to run Swampert at all, you should go for Cragsay instead, which has Stone Edge, which can help you in a certain matchup, which you might see today, I'm not too sure. I had to cut out a lot of wins as well for this team, just so we have the video at around 16 minutes, because I had like I did three sets with this team, and I went crazy positive with it. It was so much fun to play, especially with like the Whiskash and Blizzard. But let's take a look here at the first battle already. We're going to have a Galissa put against us. Really bad for our backline, so here I was predicting the Exeter, and I was correct with this, and we will be able to survive because it is double resisted and so we can still knock them out have a shield advantage have switch advantage have a whiskash against our swampert and swampert can go for a hydro cannon the opponent catches it on the skarmory a normal skarmory can take two basically here but it's going to be a shadow variant and so we can go for another one knock them out and win this game here as the opponent decides to forfeit anyway Next opponent, horrible lead for us. We swap out immediately into our Whiskash, getting out the Vigoroth of the opponent. And it's going to be okay for us. We can go for our Skull. It's not going to be the most beautiful matchup, but this team is insanely good to play right now. I definitely would recommend you to try it out. Yeah, I think I decided to use a shield. Oh, no, actually, I don't decide to use a shield. My thought process here was that I can go for a Skull still. I will most likely get knocked out by the next body slam, but what I can do is I, again, I don't get a debuff here again, which is kind of unfortunate. I could get a shield here if I wanted to which I don't, but I can get a ton of energy on my Skarmory, which I kind of want to, because even a Brave Bird, like the opponent has to shield it with a Talon Flame, and then they would have the Talon Flame with like zero shields against a two shield Swampert. But no, they would have in the back here the uh, um, Altaria, which they swap into, which I definitely like quite a bit, so I don't have to face this Pokemon with my own Swampert. And so I can go for this guy tag here, get them kind of low, wait until they throw, they throw here, and it's going to be the Moonblast most likely, and we take advantage of this because we can swap out get too much shots in and with this we're going to have a better time against the opponent but i make a crucial mistake here because i give the opponent a free incinerate because i forgot kind of uh, the timing for this one which was not really ideal i thought i would see Peter against the opponent but they went for an extra one and now it's going to be a little bit more tricky because the opponent has two body stamps stored onto their vigoroth and so we have to take one hope that we still survive and hope that one hydro cannon is enough to knock out the talent flame let's take a look at this can we still get the knockout here we can so let's move on to the next opponent this must be someone who won a regional, but I don't think it's a European or like a... I don't know, like, I definitely don't remember this name. Like, usually I know basically everyone from the PvP community that got, like, very far into tournaments. But I don't really recognize this name here, but definitely someone who won a regional, apparently, based on the shirt. So, congrats to you. Maybe they changed the name as well. Like, this can happen as well. But here we will be able to catch a move, which is going to be a very interesting one. It's going to be a rock slide. Being resisted from the Whiskash is going to be great. In comes the Whimsicott. Can we land a Blizzard? We will find out because maybe we can still survive the Seed Bomb. We cannot. We're going to get knocked out. But it's fine. We can swap back into our good friend, the Skarmory. We have a great matchup here. We can go for a Sky Attack. I have to hope that this is going to knock them out as well. They had to try to go for the Moonblast, but they did not get there in time. And so, in comes a Lantern, and I make a very crucial play. I decide to go for a Brave Bird here first. Why did I do this? Because A, it does quite some decent damage, even though it's resisted, but B, because this kind of puts them with the much shot damage of the Swampert into a range where I might be able to knock them out with a Hydro Cannon. Here I know that the Vigoroth still has enough health and also enough um, energy to go for another body slam which is a little bit of a trickier one and because i didn't count the fast moves of the lantern i decided to over farm by one here just to be sure that i can still reach the hydro cannon in time hydro cannon is what i have to go for it's still going to be a very close match up here but hydro cannon is going to connect against the opponent going to do some decent damage they're forced to go for a charge room because much shot would knock them out at this point as well after like two more much shots and so they go for the surf immediately can we win this with our Skarmory? We can farm him down and win this game. Next opponent, Vigoroth, again in the lead. What a surprise, what a shocker, a Pokemon that you never see in this cover, right? But we can still deal with it. You kind of want to swap out eventually, because if they have a Grass-type, you need your Skarmory. Here, we will see the Rock-type connecting against us, which is not really ideal, 
But also what you can do here is if you stay in for a little bit, the fast move damage of Skarmory is kind of putting them into a range where the Scald is going to be enough to knock them out after a little bit. Here they decide to use a shield because it's clearly going to be a body stam, but they're going to swap out into the Manta and this is not great for me, but I still have the Blizzard and this is going to be better than having something like the Mud Bomb as a coverage move. And so Blizzard is going to connect here against the opponent Honestly, there are going to be a lot of blizzards still coming in this video, so definitely stay tuned for that. We're gonna do some massive damage, and I decided to go for the Scald next just to get them a little bit lower, as this is going to be able to drop their attack as well, and so they do less damage against me, which is going to be kind of important now. They're gonna go for an Aerial Ace, it is going to not do enough damage to knock me out, and so they're forced to go for another charge move here, which is going to be another Aerial Ace that is coming through. I'm forced to go into my Skarmory. I should have went for the full farm line. I forgot that they got the debuff here at this point, which was really, really silly by me because I would have survived another charge move. But now I'm in a tough spot. I am down energy against the Vigoroth. They're definitely going to be able to land one charge move against me. And unless they're going to have some like a Clot Sire in the back, there's basically no way of me winning this game. And even with a Clot Sire, it would be very difficult. So let's see. We're going to be able to take this charge move from the opponent, which is going to be okay. Body Stamp coming through. I still should be able to outspeed them. It is going to be that Clot Sire, but I make another mistake here. I should have went for Double Hydro Cannon. Double Hydro Cannon does more damage than an Earthquake. And here we see why. Like if I went for Double Hydro Cannon, Maybe I still had a chance. I don't think I had a chance to be fair, but maybe I still had one. Who knows? But yeah, we're going to sadly go down here and we have to see what the next opponent is going to bring for us. One Altaria. And this is going to be an interesting matchup because this is going to happen quite often. Altaria is a very common lead and we do kind of like this because usually they swap into something like the Vigoroth. And if you get this Pokemon low and if you can like waste some time here, you might be able to go into the Whiskash and then knock them out. Here, this was the first battle that I played and I was just like walking around downtown. And this was a very silly play for me to go into the Swamp Hut. Why did I do this? Because I expected them to use a shield against my Brave Bird and I did not expect that they would let this move go through. If I went to my Whiskash, I would have had the um, very super effective move here of Blizzard, which is kind of sad that I don't have that. And so we are in a tough spot because I am silly. So in comes a charge from the opponent. Great play by them to go for that move before I get to my own charge move. Of course, I'm forced to go into my Skarmory, but the opponent goes into their Talonflame. I don't think that they're gonna go for the Flame Charge, so at least I thought. So that's why I went for the Shields right away. But maybe you can get some debuffs this time around with Scald. We didn't, we weren't really lucky prior, but here we got the debuff immediately, which is really important as the opponent is going to try to connect or fly here and I can go for another charge move. Is this going to get the debuff as well? This would be amazing for me and it does get another debuff. So they had minus one at this point and we can easily take a charge move from the opponent. Fly is coming through. I swap out it predicting the Altaria coming in and now I'm going to go ahead and go for an under charge on the sky attack because I kind of just want to get the opponent very low, but don't give the opponent's Talonflame any farm. And so what we can do is we can take the Moonblast, the opponent tries to do the same kind of, and I can just mud shot down the opponent's Altaria, leaving with one Scald stored. And I could have even went for the, uh, what's called the ice move there, the Blizzard, but it would have not knocked them out. So Scald is, and we can win this game. Next opponent, we're going to have a Mantine in the lead. I don't really like this lead, but they swap out into the Vigoroth kind of straight away. So what we can do is we can try to go for a Sky Attack. A lot of times they're going to have something like a Lantern in the back if they have also the lead of um, the Mantine or something like a Mud Boy. Mud Boy also does make quite a lot of sense. Maybe like something like Whiskish in the back could be also the case here. It doesn't really matter. I decided to go back into my Whisk Cash because we can go for one Scald. We just try to put them into a range where we can farm them down with a Mud Shot. And this would be very good for us to hit some Blizzard later on. We're gonna get the Attack Draw, which is going to be amazing. They decide to go for a Charge Move, and I should be able to farm them all the way down. So what they decide to do is they decide to go into their Manta and taking another Blizzard from our fish. The Whiskash is coming in and this is going to be kind of good for me, kind of not good for me. It's going to be a little bit trickier. I'm forced to let this next move go through here because I kind of still need to keep the shields for my Swamp, but it's going to be a Water Pulse, which is a little bit annoying, does more damage than the um, Ice Beam going to do. But Brave Bird is going to get shielded now it's down to the Swamp, but can we sweep the entire team with a 
Shadow Shadow Swamp Heart. Shadow Swamp Heart basically being nowhere anymore, but can we still do something with it? Let's see if this is going to knock out the Manta. It's going to be close. Nobody really expected damage anymore from it, and yes, it's going to take the knockout on a CMP tie. In comes the Whiskash. The issue is that I know that the opponent still has their Vigoroth in the back that has some energy, and so I'm still going to use a Shield here onto the Scald because it's definitely going to be a Scald, and I know that this is going to guarantee a lot of damage, and I know that they're going to try to catch the next charge move, but I'm actually kinda okay with that because I think Vigoroth was super, super close to another charge move anyway, but um, maybe I was wrong about this as well, but anyways, we can see here, can we still survive the Scald? We can survive with a 1 HP and a Dream, and Swampert was able to destroy the entire team here, and we can move on to the next opponent. Amazing need for us, but the opponent plays is a little bit interesting here, which I did not really expect. They decided to stay in, and so what I expect, of course, is that they're going to be weak against me in their back. But also, kind of nice for us is that this kind of puts them into Scald slash Hydro Cannon range for them or for us already, and we're going to decide to go into our Swamp Hut here. I don't want to throw first, and so I'm happy that the opponent decides to throw first here. If it's a Brave Bird, that would be nice. It is a Brave Bird, and this is going to change some things, and this is why I didn't throw immediately. I know that I have to throw two charge moves anyway. Way, but like this, I can actually just only throw one and farm them all the way down. And you might ask yourself, where does this matter? I get just so much energy here that I can knock out even the Dragonite. And they still have two shields left here, but it's going to be a Charizard in the bag. And I think that they're mostly going to try to CMP tie against me, so I decided to try to swap out here onto the CMP tie, which kind of works out. We can still get a move off with our Skarmory, trying to force the final shield from the opponent. And as we're going to see here, we can try to go for a Brave Bird, but they can get to that blast burn while still having a charge move stored here they have a dragon claw stored and they go straight for it they thought there's a mud boy coming in and they were right with it but it wasn't the swamp hurt and so if we get to this god we win but the opponent makes it a little bit easier and just forfeit anyway next upon coming through pretty bad lead for me i kind of want to stay in here for a little bit try to get a shield baiting a potential brave bird like honestly skarmory lead is so amazing in this meta like it is so so strong basically everything that's kind of neutral you can force a shield just because he could have the brave bird here we don't go for the brave bird here but we could have went for the brave bird and this is why the opponent kind of wants to respect this i guess we're going to be able to swap out into our own whiskers here they go for the aqua tail spam but let's see what we can do here. They're gonna go for another charge move. I don't really care too much about it. We can try to reach a blizzard here. Maybe a blizzard going to knock them out from this range. Do we want to find out? We do want to find out. So blizzard is going to connect again, going to knock them out from this range and in comes the Skarmory, allowing us to go for this gold and hopefully dropping their attack as well, which would force them to most likely throw a charge move. Oh no, maybe they can farm me down, but I can still go for another scald in time. I am fine with this. We're in such a huge spot here just because like the Whiskers was able to knock them out with that blizzard. They have their own Whiskers in the back. I was a little bit slow. Like the game is a little bit slow for me as well nowadays. I don't know like what is really going on there, but like I have a really good phone and like I have decent internet connection. I don't know why it's so laggy and sluggish, but it is what it is. We're going to be able to go for another Hydro Cannon. They dropped my attack before, but I can reach another one in time here, which is going to be able to also yeah, get the shield here, but the opponent decides to go for their own charge move, and they're going to get a blizzard here, which does not really work for them either, so at least we have the kind of same ideas here. Dedene, that is an interesting Pokemon, I would say. We're going to be able to swap out into our own Whiskash, we can try to go for a Scald against the opponent, as we will see the um, Arca Tail coming through, we're going to be able to shield this one up because I tried to get the attack drop first here. This is going to get the shield as well and we're going to get the attack drop, so I'm kind of happy about this. I can go ahead and go for a Scald again afterwards and if they want to use a shield, that is totally fine for me. We're going to get another Scald off here, hopefully you're going to get another debuff onto the opponent. They use a shield, fine for me, but I don't get a debuff and so you know what time it is. It is time for another Blizzard. Honestly, the fish is just spamming those blizzards left right and center we're forced to use a shield here but i need to realign because i don't want to have the dedenny against my lead and so we can over farm by like one fast move blizzard is going to connect boom goodbye there in comes the next opponent's pokemon being the dedenny again i can still reach another scald this might even drop the attack but look at the damage that's coming through there as well dedenny is so squishy attack drop is coming through and so they're forced to go for a discharge against me just to meet the swampert afterwards allowing me to get an energy lead and so the opponent decides to forfeit final battle for today altarian the lead 
In comes the Vigoroth. Can we finally pull it off? Can we finally one-shot an Altaria with the Whiskash? Let's find out. We're going to see the Rockstar coming through. We're going to be able to go for the Sky Attack against the opponent. This is going to be crucial. Let's see how much it's going to do. It's going to get the shield, and that's kind of what I wanted anyway. Can we catch the move? We can catch the Rock Slide. This is literally perfect. Rock Slide coming through, going to be resisted onto me, and so I can try to reach for the Scald. They're still going to go for a charge move. They might be able to um, swap out after this, though, and they will be able to do exactly this. We go up to 99 energy just to land those blows out here boom goodbye there to the altaria is we going to be able to one shot it and the opponent is gonna go for another body slam here which we can retaliate with a score that hopefully drops the attack as well let's find out it does and so we can knock them out here with a sky attack immediately afterwards forcing them into a very awkward position where we have three pokemon and a shield and they just have a steelix in the back this is going to be a good buy here as the brave bird gonna put them into range for the hydro cannon which is just perfect for us again this team is just so amazing to play as you saw here today would really recommend you to try it out as you can see the opponent forfeits and look at this we were able to go up to 2915 with this team amazing for me so hopefully we hit legend but we're going to um, use some more fun stuff later on anyway so see you then bye bye